fellow YouTubers and microcurrent fans. Welcome to day one of my 12 day challenge. I will be doing a 30% glycolic peel. I have very um, Northern Heritage, Welsh, Irish, English type skin. Um, and it's on the thinner side, but um, it reacts to um, glycolic really well. The one I'm going to be using is by SkinScript. I'll give a shout out to SkinScript. They're in Tempe, Arizona. They were created by an esthetician who dealt with mostly um, acne clients, but uh, she has a lot of really yummy um, peels and um, enzyme peels of all different flavors, you know, blueberry, cranberry, papaya, and coconut. Just really, really cool, fun stuff that, you know, to keep it fresh with your client. I'm using just her 30% glycolic peel. It says to leave it on three to five minutes. I'm gonna leave it on five minutes. This has been a while since I've done a peel. And um, I'm also gonna get my gloves ready for my microcurrent while this is doing its work. Um, I use gloves with microcurrent. I have been on the search for a pair of carbon gloves that won't break the bank. Um, we use carbon gloves with our biotherapeutic platinum uh, unit at work and I really, really like them. They have, they have two channels, which means there's two um, flows of microcurrent energy going through them, meeting the other side of the glove. And not just one little stream of energy, there's two. So um, they tend to do a treatment much quicker. I use gloves, I think they probably only have, um, well they're mesh, and if I could only see how the current is conducting, that would be great, but they are, um, what I assume is just one stream of energy going from one glove to the next, or maybe a small mesh-like, uh, I don't know, I don't know how it's going through it, I, and I wish there was some way I could see it, but since they're not dual channel, I, get, I just can assume that they're one channel and it's just one stream of glove of uh, energy going from one side to the other. And this is starting to tingle quite a bit. I like to do my decollete. This is really tingling my um, neck area. Now about doing a peel before microcurrent, uh, a lot of people think that this is too sensitizing. For most of my clients, it's not a problem at all. Um, I get them under the uh, LED, uh, and I have the LED running uh, just about the entire time I'm doing the light. So the LED, uh, you know, it takes down inflammation, it calms the skin, it calms the client. Um, most of them fall asleep between the microcurrent and the LED. They're goners, you know, they just fall asleep. So um, I guess... You know, the biotherapeutic trainer says she doesn't like to do peels before microcurrent. I would say absolutely do a peel before my microcurrent. If it's not, you know, a deep, deep peel where they're going to be molting or a sleeping peel, you don't want to have a peel on the skin at all because microcurrent will drive it deeper into the skin. So definitely, definitely get the skin completely washed off of every little last remnant of that peel before you start. So, um, yeah, so I will uh, take this off and I will come back and we'll start microcurrent. 